everything's going pretty good. Our pith is lined up on this face as well. I checked both ends, we're in good shape right there. When we do this bottom cut here on this Bart side, we'll have to check it as well, make sure the pith is the same distance from this side. But it should be pretty close to being right on. So we'll make sure we're staying square right here. Pretty good, that's really important to keep these timbers square so when we lay out our joinery, we don't have to re-square them up with a different method. We got good faces here adjacent to each other. That's good, really nice square timber right here. Really happy with that. Monday morning, it's time to finish up this post. And uh, it's going good so far, no issues with the solid. I can't remember what causes that staining. They call that blue pine down in the south. Maybe somebody will speak up in the comments and let everybody know what causes that. Those guys in Georgia talked about that, but I just can't remember what causes it. A little bit of that blue streaking right down the middle. Does not affect the wood in any way. So right now the timber, the dimensions are 11 and a half by 10 and a half. So what we're going to do here is make sure, like I talked about in the previous video, we get the pith directly in the center of this post. It's going to be an 8 by 8 post. I want that pith within an eighth of an inch. It's going to be my tolerance here. So if it's off within an eighth of an inch, I'm okay. But I want it to close as perfect as I can get it on all four planes right here. All four planes, you want the same distance. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring the saw head back and bring the blade down to where it's right here, parallel with the pith, right in the middle. And then we'll use the auto up feature on the AccuSet 2. We'll come up in 7 8 intervals right here until I get four clicks or four inches above this pith. And the reason we're doing 7 8 and not one inch is because if I do one inch, it's going to come up an inch and an eighth because the AccuSet fitters in your curve of an eighth of an inch. And I'm hoping all this is making sense to you. I'm trying to keep it all squared in my head as I talk to you guys. So if we set it at seven eighths, the blade will move up one inch because it has that curve fitted into the system, which is really nice. So we'll come up four clicks. We'll have a four inch gap here between this top cut and our pith that would give us our four inch clearance to our pith. And then I'll come on up until I get squared up here on top to make a cut. And we'll probably get one or two boards off the top of this. That'll be, gosh, almost 11 inches wide. So it'll be two decent boards here on the top. And then we'll stop what we're doing. We'll flip it over and put this on the top. Do the same thing and we'll have our eight inch cant right here or our post rather with the thickness that we want. And this right here should be directly in the center. And then we'll turn on these sides and do the exact same thing. And we should get maybe six boards total off this, not counting our eight by eight timber. Thank you. 
All right, we'll come over here and hit auto up. And we want to set that for seven eighths so that would give us one inch lift every time we hit that up button. Like I said earlier, this factors in the curve. So if we do one inch, it'll go up an inch and an eighth. That's there, seven eighths. So I'll go up four positions and then I'll write down that number so I'll know where to stop sawing at. And then we'll go up past that and send me one inch boards we can get and work our way back down to that number. So let's start heading up, see how far we get up to and send me boards we're gonna get. That's our four inch mark right there, nine and seven sixteenths, exactly four inches up from where we started from. And if I go up one more click, I think, let me see, we'll get one board out of this. We'll do a skim cut here on top. Probably take off about a, gosh, maybe a quarter of an inch. And then we'll come down and do one board cut, and then this side will be done.
Let's see how we did. Looks pretty square to me as far as the pith being in the middle. If we've done this right, the pith will be right at the four inch mark because we have exactly eight inches here on our thickness. Can't get no better than that. Check that out. Right there is our crack at the pith. Right at four inches. Awesome. guys getting a little windy out here might stir up a storm it's been actually really dry here for the past few months i wouldn't mind it if it rained just a little no it's hard to believe i fuss about rain constantly but it's been really dry so we got one good board off the top of this timber we got a one by eight really nice and it left us with our pith right here and right here we should be four inches down and hit right on that pith if i did my math right Right on, four inches right there on the pith. Good deal. So we'll go ahead and flip this one over and make about two or three cuts on this other side and our first post is done. guys here's the top side of the timber this will be our last cuts on this post and if I did my math right I'll be making one cut here for a reference face I'll make one more cut and get a one inch board and hopefully that will work us down past this wane right here or bark so that's what I'm going for I hope I can work past that I got bark on both sides right there because I want four nice corners on this post here when I get done the less wane the better I heard that term before that's w-a-n-e it means you got bark on the side of a beam or some lumber they call that wane We got rid of most of that bark by making those two cuts. Check this out right down here. We still have a little bit of wane left on here. A little bit of reference there with my finger. Not a whole lot. 
I wish it was perfect. You know, I wish this wasn't here, but it does give a little bit of character. It doesn't look too bad. It's not going to hurt the integrity of this post by no means. But other than that, everything else looks good on here. I'm putting some anchor seal down there on that far end. A good looking post here. Good way to start off this build.